man, that era, man, that era, like the whole fucking hair, the stage presence, like everybody was performing the same way, you know, like doing like the whole, you know, like this. What is going on? Welcome back to my channel. This is Alex Oiza, and this is going to be another video reaction to another artist and another piece of music recommended to me by a subscriber. For new viewers that are showing up, I am an alternative pop artist based out of Dallas, Texas. Basically, I just react to other people's music and analyze it while doing so using my experience as a artist and musician and hopefully get to entertain you guys along the way doing so. So anyways, that is about me. That is what's going on. This video, this video is going to cover if you can hang by Sleeping With Sirens. This song was recommended to me by Mackenzie Bowie. Uh, she is a subscriber to the channel and a really cool person. She uh, messaged me on Instagram and uh, wanted me to check the song out. I myself am a pretty good fan of Sleeping With Sirens. I'm not a super fan, but I've known them for quite a while. I've listened to a couple, a uh, good amount of their records. I'm looking at the cover of the music video on YouTube and I believe I've already heard this tune, but we're about to check that out anyways. I've seen them live as well. They're a great band live. They have a lot of energy. Uh, people go crazy watching them live. I saw them back in uh, Warp Tour 2016, I believe. Uh, it might be, yeah, Warp Tour 2016. <laughs> Was it 2017? I can't quite remember. Anywho, I've seen them live. They're great. I think they're a great band. They're very talented and uh, their charisma as well. So anyways, that's Sleeping With Sirens. That's some prior knowledge that I have about them. And uh, let's just jump into it, shall we? Cool. Right off the bat, it starts off with a lot of energy. Really cool, interesting start. The groove that they're using, very punk in, in a way, very fast, very um, angsty and aggressive, um, and a very big part of the genre that they partake in and the scene that they partake in. Um, cool, interesting thing is that they started off with a, a acoustic guitar um, to add a little bit more personality to what they're doing. And once everything comes in, I mean, instrument wise, like heavy kicks, you know, very uh, big drums, um, I mean, to expect of the genre. Sounds familiar, the song. Uh, I still don't fully know if I've heard it before or not, but let's keep going. Nice fill too. And I'm watching the music video too. Um, there's hype. His voice is really nice. forget his name but he's he's a great singer um there's a he's i've seen, heard records of him where he plays acoustic and his song his uh tone is very pretty he has a very pretty tone and then and to have a pretty tone and still uh, be able to play uh like pop like no not pop but like uh like punk music um but this is pop punk in a way i would categorize it in the pop punk kind of way but you know some people uh, disagree with me um because they they feel like they're pretty heavy. I've heard heavier stuff, uh, but um, yeah, I, I think even to have a pretty tone like that and still play very aggressive, that's pretty fucking cool. You have to admit that. Nice chorus. That's cool. I, I've heard this song. Uh, that's that that gave it away. I've heard this song, and I've, I think I've seen it live too. Um, it's a great chorus, man. It bumps in. It get it's like kind of like the head banging chorus where you just kind of swing in the crowd. And then what's really cool is that they switch it up on you and drop it down. Keep uh gives you some sort of you know tension out of nowhere. It's really cool. They switch it up really nice. That's very smart and very very good writing. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard this song. Yeah, 
Yeah. And then they go into halftime. It's just a very, very uh, common thing for them to do. Like they're fast paced. They're getting that. They're getting that rhythm. Like the kind of again that head banging kind of rhythm. And now, now we're boom. They uh, put uh, halftime on it. Um, gives you that kind of slow down sort of feel in a way, uh, but adds uh, weight to what they're doing at the same time. So they're not. It's it doesn't trade off. Slowing down doesn't. They're not. They're not slowing down by any means. It, it's a feeling that you get. But that halftime. It's still in, it's still following that kind of tempo uh structure that they have uh but it again it just gives you that feel of slow down but it doesn't give any trade-offs like it doesn't take away the energy or the intensity of what's going on in the moment so a really cool really cool um yeah i've heard this song and uh, i don't hear it i don't listen to it re regularly uh but I, I've heard, I've heard this plenty of times, and I used to have a lot of friends that were in love with this band. So, uh, growing up in the early ages of Twitter, I would remember so many people quoting <laughs> that latter part of the chorus, like, "Oh, you such a pretty, pretty, pretty face, but you such a pretty waste of my time." Something along those lines. That was posted on Twitter thousands of times, thousands of times back in like, uh, like 2012, 2013, when I barely opened up Twitter. Uh, and I was in high school, uh, like I would see that those lyrics flowing around all the fucking time. So I am pretty aware, pretty aware of of this band. Man, that era, man, that era, like the whole fucking hair, the whole uh, like. Uh, the stage presence, like everybody was uh, just performing the same way, you know, like doing like the whole, you know, like this and uh, man, I mean, it's 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 kind of like I'm, I'm not making fun of it because I think it's pretty cool. It has some really cool things to it, but you have to admit that it's pretty funny too. Um, like just kind of watching in retrospect how uh, certain things people were doing because of, you know, it was the thing. But nonetheless, I mean, I grew up, I didn't. I wasn't fully immersed into like the scene like that, but I grew up listening to a lot of this type of music, a lot of like pop punk, a lot of punk. And uh, I mean, I, I've gone to plenty of concerts uh, of this, of the scene, of this type of scene. And uh, they're amazing. They're super fun. People are amazing, super kind. If you ever get the chance to go to one of these, please go. Cause it's a lot of fun. Um, anywho, uh, man, I miss Warped Tour too. Warped Tour is badass, And uh, it's, it's a shame that it's not a thing anymore. That's cool. Uh, that rhythm right there that's pre that's a pretty cool rhythm that they threw out of nowhere on it um just gives you a little more drive and you know, another big observation too is that um a lot of like, this is showmanship as far as with like punk bands i would say not a lot of rock bands do this because i mean i feel like rock, i mean there's showmanship with a lot of these bands like with rock with punk you know they have the whole, whole little you know things that they do but if you watch how they're uh, the drummers like playing the the symbols that he's crashing on on the top, they're tall as shit. Like the, he has them high as shit. Um, and, and this is me just kind of just putting out of observations, but it's very inefficient playing uh, the way he is playing. Um, it's very cool looking. It's very fucking like yeah, I mean, it's just smashing shit. I mean, it's part of the genre, right? It's part of the it's part of the act. Yeah, it's very inefficient and uh, it actually hurts your arms doing so. Um, I just wanted to point that out there. It's cool as shit though. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna go all out in showmanship, just fucking do it, man. Right? So. Nice. I mean, and whenever you're live watching this part, it's so fucking cool because people are going crazy. Like, oh, oh, build up, build up, build up. Let's go up. Again, halftime. <laughs> oh, cool guitars. Those guitar tones are badass. That what what they were doing right there. Those those sounds with the guitar, really really nice. Very heavy, very present. Those those are very very cool. It adds just just a lot more aggression and emotion to what's going on, um, and you know it brings up a, a lot more emotion. Just it it really does. Um, I mean the singer I forget his name and I, I knew him by heart before, but I um, mean obviously I'm gonna put it right here. But he's a great singer. I've I've heard plenty of records again from him. Um, 
but the cool thing about this is that he doesn't have to go above and beyond to bring that extra oomph or that extra you know emotion in this moment where it's needed the guitars help them help him out more a little bit more when uh, they 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 uh, put a tone like that to it so <laughs> Six screen, man. Great screen. Cool, sticking. That's a cool ending. That's a really cool ending. They, uh, uh, here, this right here. Um, really, really cool ending right there at the end. They brought up that uh, build up that they, you know, that switch up that they do every once in a while. Um, and they just ended it right there. Like a really cool uh, punk and abrupt way to do it. Um, yeah, man, it brings back so much memories. Like the, just listening to that type of music. Um, I've, I've heard this song before again. I've known about the band for a while. Thank you, Mackenzie, for bringing it up. Again, I haven't listened to it in a long time. It just brings back a lot of memories, like Warped Tour memories. Uh, you know, I've, I've gone to plenty like, of shows here in, in Dallas, uh, like local shows that have that type of scene. And it's just, it's amazing. Um, it's really cool music, really fun to go to. And uh, again, I mean, hopefully once this Corona thing is over, we can all enjoy live music like that again. But you know, nonetheless, Sleeping With Sirens, that was If You Can't Hang by Sleeping With Sirens. Great, great band. Um, I'm not sure if they're active with new music. I'm gonna ha have to check that out. Um, regardless, thank you so much for watching, for coming by and spending some time with me. If you liked the video, just hit that like button. And if you wanna keep hanging out, watching more of my reactions, or catching some of the tunes that I put out myself, you can go ahead and subscribe. You'll be seeing more types of content from me. I am going to try to be more consistent, I promise to you guys. Um, it's just that um, it, it's hard kind of like dealing with the whole COVID thing um, because I had it and it kind of like, it got me a really depressive mood. Um, and I just, it killed a lot of motivation out of me. And then uh, uh, I got like a rebound of uh, symptoms like, Right now, I feel a little bit uh, kind of like out of breath in a way. Um, I feel fine. I'm COVID negative now, but <coughs> my lungs are still recuperating. So it's been kind of weird and difficult and uh, mentally, emotionally, and it's just, it's been hard, but I'll, I'll get there. We'll get there. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, like always, like I always tell people, uh, please, please go check out, please go check out the artists that we talked about today because I, I am very, very well aware how much work it takes, how much uh, dedication, how much pain, how much suffering it takes to be an artist and uh, any help that we can give uh, other artists is much appreciated. So go check them out, go support them. Uh, they're super talented, super nice. I've, I've, I think I've met one of the members before and like they're just super cool people. And uh, as far as me, if you'd like to keep track of me, you can always follow me on social media, follow this channel. I am an artist myself. I have plenty of music and you can find it literally everywhere. Just search up Alex Oiza and you will find something. Thank you so much again and uh, be safe, be kind, and we'll hang out some other time. Till then, cheers. <laughs>